I am delighted to be back in the Gambia on the 50th anniversary of our agency. And we're celebrating 45 years of helping Gambian women, in particular women and girls, to overcome certain types of adversity. I'm delighted. It's a pleasure for me to be here with you tonight to celebrate. And we celebrate partnership. UNFPA working hand in hand with the government of the Gambia over decades. This evening, we come together to celebrate sexual and reproductive health in a grand fashion. 50 years of leading the way in the area of population and development and 47 years in the Gambia is no small feat. As such, on this occasion, I am delighted to say a hearty happy birthday to UNFPA. In meeting with uh, His Excellency President Barrow of the Gambia this morning, I was delighted to learn from him that under his leadership, young people's issues and women's issues are being prioritized. The President expressed his desire to make sure that every girl in this country is nurtured and protected and is able to fulfill her education. I am really, really excited to know that the young people with whom I met at the Bantava in this country told me they are going to make a difference in terms of gender equality, full respect between young men and young women, and they are also very creative. They are making jobs for themselves. They are thinking ahead of the curve. What should the next 11 years to the Sustainable Development Goals in 2030 achieve right here in Gambia. So on the road to Nairobi, I am proud to say that we are part of a positive change. Let me conclude by expressing the sincere appreciation of the women and children of the Gambia, whom I represent here today, to UNFP for the very valuable support we have been receiving from UNFP. Thank you for giving us the hope. Thank you for giving us the support for us to hear the voices of people in those difficult times. Thank you. We want to stand with Gambia in order to ensure that the potential of every young person in this country is fulfilled. And I invite you to join me on the march to Nairobi, where we as a world community must recommit to making sure that women survive and in fact that women thrive.